And this Monday marks the 43rd anniversary of emergency that dented democracy for about two years during 1975 and 77. This questionable episode in post-independent India raised several issues about individual freedoms and their importance besides shaking the conscience of the nation. To talk about the darkest hour of the Indian democracy, we have with us Shri Surya Prakash, chairman of Prasar Bharti, who chronicled the events of that period in a book. Let's first try and put into perspective and understand what made you write this book in the first place. Uh, one, a vibrant democracy became a dictatorship for 19, 21 months. And uh, that's the most terrible thing that can happen to any democracy. I was with the Indian Express in the 1970s uh, in Bangalore. And uh, we had that effect of the emergency in terms of censorship, pre-censorship. My own personal experiences, which were quite terrible in the sense that we had an Inspector General Police was appointed as the Chief Censor in Karnataka. And he thereby virtually became my Chief Editor. Can you imagine a man in uniform correcting the copies that we write? Uh, and so we would go during the day and, uh, you know, on our reporting assignments, come back, editorials, our reports, everything would go to the Inspector General Police Office. Was that the case everywhere, sir? No, in every state they had a chief censor. They had different kinds of people. This was the biggest, this was a way of humiliating the free press, of humiliating Indian Express. So we were subjected to pre-censorship and the Inspector General of Police became the Chief Censor. He had a battery of police inspectors and some information department guys. Can you imagine police inspectors sitting and deciding what will go into print? 